of the most iconic spots in Detroit. This time of the year, any time of the year, is Belle Isle. And on the island, one of the most iconic buildings is the conservatory. But if you've never been inside, you'd never know what you were missing out on. And if you have been there before, we bet you may have missed some of the hidden gems among the foliage and the plants and the Michelle Oliver found out. You could drive past this building a hundred times and never realize the true beauty is on the inside. Hello, I'm Jeremy Kemp and I'm the DNR's horticulturist for the Anna Scripps Whitcomb Conservatory in Belle Isle Park. The Anna Scripps Whitcomb Conservatory was designed by famous architect Albert Kahn and opened to the public in 1904. Anna Scripps donated a pretty sizable orchid collection, I think it was over 600 orchids, right about when the, the dome was redone. They thought it was a good idea to name it in her honor. The conservatory is broken up into five rooms. The tropical exhibit, which Traditionally, it was called the economic house because there's plants in there that obviously are bought and sold. We have the palm room, which is our largest, is over 80 feet tall to house these palms. We have the show house, which is where we feature five or six, depending on the year, different shows. And we have the um, cactus house back here for all the drier plants. And then just beyond that is the wettest house, which is the fern house. This is the first thing you see when you come in, and this is to get the kids' imaginations. These are, this is the carnivorous case. We have uh, Venus flytraps, we have nepenthes, which are big pitcher plants, and these are um, saracenias. It shocks me how tiny the Venus flytrap yeah, everybody is. Says it's it. very small. It's a good thing, because it can't eat you. Yes, no little shop, of course. <laughs> but yeah, no, they, they, little tiny spiders and little tiny flies, and actually they, could eat one and be good for six weeks. So this is Mimosa pudica, if you're gonna be a plant nerd, but this is the sensitive plant. Some people call it a shy fern, which I don't like because it's not really a fern, but they say that because when it's touched or the wind blows on it too much, it'll actually, the leaves will collapse. Oh my gosh, it like just... Da -da. Some people think it's to protect itself from herbivores, so it will collapse and then the animal will think, oh, there's no leaves here, I'll go eat something else. Mm -hmm. But it could also be to protect itself from transpiration, so if it's windy, it would close up, you know, and then it would less surface area, so it's not losing all that moisture. They also have a lot of edible plants, like this orange tree or this banana tree. Nope, 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 nope. I mean plant. That's my one pet peeve, but actually this is the largest herbaceous um, flowering plant on the planet. That's because this is all just a stem here. That's pretty much all water, whereas a tree would have a bark, you know, and a hardwood there. And there's this guy, which many people like first thing in the morning. This is a coffee tree. So these are the coffee cherries on here. They're green, then they'll go to yellow, and then when they're red, they're ready to harvest. There are so many interesting plants and fun hidden gems for you to find to keep you entertained for hours. I mean, you fall in love with the island to begin with, but then you come in here and it's like, an island with this on it and an aquarium and all that, so it's pretty special. That is cool. Very cool. Yeah. That plant that whoosh, collapsed, that was something. I've never seen anything like that, have you? And, and then, feed me, Seymour. <laughs> feed me. The conservatory is located on Belle Isle near the Park Administration Office. It's, you can't miss it. It's uh, free to enter, but donations are readily accepted. Yep, it's open Wednesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's so cool in there, especially if you go in there in the middle of winter. Mm, mm. I can it's, imagine. It's like, it's like going on vacation. Like it's yeah. all cold. The tropics. And, yeah, exactly. You go in there, it's like the tropics. Good stuff. We'll be right back.